I was using that as a, uh, we don't have no more paper towels. I was using this as a recycle. It was turning into a recycle until you put the trash in it. Well, I'm going to take the trash out. We can be environmentally conscious. Yeah, whatever. I should have never got them motherfuckers. Well, I did that shit to support my brother. Fucked up my eyes. God damn it. I shouldn't fuck my shit up for nobody. Well, I don't understand. I thought that you got your eyes checked. Yeah, but the way they make them glasses, the lenses, they're no good. You, there's no way to look out of a particular part of a lens at a particular part at a particular time. It's just the concept to me is idiotic. Let me see something so I can stir this up. Yeah, I'll let you hit this hook real quick. You know, hit this hook. Taste it. Look. It tastes like the hook. Taste it. It just tastes green, piney, and strong. And it look, what, green. Rawr! to myself. Fuck with me for real the whole day. I drink a fifth. God <laughs> damn. You was a drinker. Yo, what I remember, man, being young, I just nigga drink a fifth a day. You be like, damn, how a nigga drink a fifth? You feel me? You be slow. All day, but a fifth is two pints. Motherfucker, I can drink a pint, drink a pint in the morning, keep going and drink one at night. And there you go. Oh my God. Damn. I remember when nigga get a shorty. Did you like this sandwich today? Mm hmm. Was it? Did you taste the bread? Mm hmm. Was it? Did you like that? Mm hmm. It was it brioche? Mm hmm. It's brioche. Bread. Brioche. It's brioche. Mm hmm. Yeah. And Harris tea is five dollars. I only got mine for three. Mm. Mm. Let me hit that three. Brioche. Mm. 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 What you wanna watch, brioche? We got these movies from Jason, they watch a goddamn thing. What we gonna look at? Brioche. What you wanna look at? I don't care. Wanna watch Shark Tank? <laughs> Wait, how'd you go from um, Jason looking at the movies to Shark Tank? Cause then I ain't gotta look for that. 
Can you taste it like the piney? I can taste a little piney. It's like it has a it has a taste that's distinctive, doesn't it? I, I like it. I mean, I, yes, I do too. I like it as well. Uh, I mean, I like this. The, I know the words of the song, but I just don't want to sing that right what now. Song is? Huh? I don't even know what song it is. So many things to say. So they say, oh, Kelly getting the bail. He about to get out. Yes, I'm like, okay, you know what? But if I look at it and be honest, there are so many R. Kelly's in this world. You know that, right? Nah, I don't give a fuck about all that. The shit like, that Joe was doing to these just... chicks. <laughs> yeah, yo. <laughs> some foul shit. I'm like, this is ridiculous. Yeah, that was some foul shit. Yeah. You gotta look at this. This is some good stuff. Yeah, that was some fizz out shit. Come in the living room and smoke. Let's get out the kitchen with the food at. I don't want the monk around my phone. Wow, chicka, wow, wow. Funky bird, I see why they call it that. Hey, the funky bird. Rule bourbon. Rule bourbon. Funky bird. Cool enough. Cool off, funky bird. I'm gonna tell somebody that. Cool off, funky bird. <laughs> I have fun and do that. Why? I am so bored. Talking when the phone rings. That's it. What you mean, techie talk? Are the people younger than you? Um, three of them are. Okay, so what do you think about techie talk? I mean, like, well, I'm just talking about the. The um, the, 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 um, the machines all the time. The tangible I mean, sign of recovery. What do you mean, machines? The machines how to repair the machines talking about the um, the So you guys have to repair some shit or something? Yeah, they have when you um, when you call uh, because the machines that dispenses the um, the liquid medications for um, for you to the medication liquid formula. So how do you know how to do that? You have a script or something? Baby, before you get bored, I want to make sure that you're good. I think you, because maybe these motherfuckers know some other shit that you don't. And they might got a little leg up on you. So you want to make sure that you're good or even better than what they are on the phone. You might want to try to maybe learn a little bit of shit that they got. I mean, I'm, I'm working on a computer right now. Just doing the data checks and everything. Checking on what the, um, the technicians have installed. But do you have to do what they're going to do? Later on. So it's going to help you be who you to learn some of that shit. Baby, I need a light. Well, shit ain't going on, you're going to give me some shit that ain't even burnt. What the fuck I'm going to do with it? What the fuck I'm going to do with the motherfucker? I'm just saying, why the hell you come out here without a goddamn light? That's pretty, though. You come out here without a light and you talking about let's make And then, I mean, how the hell you going to do that here? Yo, I was gonna ask you to have me get a comment. Yeah, this light is no good. This white light is dead. Yeah, yeah this white light is done. Every individual place. What is this? Stop being. You can recycle that too. The crown of yeah, I do, but not this one. Let it go, let it go, let it go. Because you holding it and me having this little ass roach with this big ass fire starter? Man, I'd rather just. Yeah. It's trash. Well, the spine of the urchins. Clearing the way for coral growth. Where is that? Right here. 
right there. They up there somewhere. <laughs> But I'm done. I don't want the phone. I don't even want this, y'all. Hey. I'm going to take the ice out of it. I don't want it. Unless you want to drink it. I don't want it. I really, I want to eat it. Hey, hey, hey. I'm done with all that shit. I'm finished with the getting fucked up shit. I want to chill. Because next thing you know, I'll be too fucked up. You feel me? Huh? Right. Red light challenge. That's been a long time. Been a while. It's been a while for Cash Cab. What, Brandon? Brandon and yeah. Cool. Welcome to Cash Cab, everybody. Thank you. You're going to Tiffany's. What are you going for breakfast? Oh! What are you going to Tiffany's for? We're going to buy some diamonds. Buy some diamonds. All right. Hopefully, uh, we can fund that with Cash Cab wins. We've got 46 blocks to get there. You're going to have a chance to win a lot of money. You guys ready to get started? Yeah. Sure. All right. First question of $25 a piece. Here we go. Name the famous 1803 transaction in which France sold the U.S. a vast parcel of land for under three cents an acre. Louisiana Purchase. Uh, Louisiana Purchase. That is correct. For 25 bucks, you know, for a good start. One for one. Here's your next question for 25 Made from the wood of the alder tree, what popular stacking game gets its name from the Swahili verb to build? Jenga. Jenga. Jenga is correct. Oh, all right. And you're under 50 bucks. We're going to keep the questions coming. First used in 1875 to remove ingrown eyelashes, what cosmetic process zaps hair follicles with a charged current? Electrolysis. Electrolysis. That is correct for another 25. Three to three. Well done, Steve. Had some hair removal. All right, here's your final $25 question, guys. What heavyweight champ and outspoken Nation of Islam convert did Time Magazine label Gaseous Cassius in 1967? I'm not he. Float like a butterfly, sting like a bee. That is correct, and you're up to 100 bucks. All right, you guys went four for four on your $25 question. We have 30 blocks to go. If you have no strikes, still have both your shout outs. The next question is worth $50. Wow, so was that real? real? Was that shit real? Because he did not run an alibi defense. And they reversed it now a second time. So picture there's all these years of litigation. Roddy, I'll call it, even wrote a book that was being used as an example of a man who was wrongfully accused of the horrors of the death penalty. By 2001... Hold up. Hold up. Oh, baby, I don't know. You want to see this? It's about a murder. I guess so. <laughs> huh? I guess so. Conquest. So every time he looks at them, it's like, yep, that's me, I did that. If he kept a pair of ball earrings, it begs the question, where did all these other pieces of jewelry come from? in 1970s, 77, you know, the nice, beautiful area, beautiful beaches, you know, the wild and crazy sunset strip. It's a place young people want to go to. <laughs> it's just past midnight in the Franklin Canyon area of Los Angeles, a woody area just north of Beverly Hills. It's a remote area. It's a wealthy neighborhood. You had some well-known actors who lived up in there, very exclusive. Some hikers, they were 
on a fire road up above Hollywood in Los Angeles. They found a brutal murdered, naked body. The young woman was partially disrobed. They discovered that her head had been crushed. There was a large rock near her body. She had a leg of her blue jeans wrapped around her throat. There was blood running all over her. Whoever had murdered her had spread blood all over her back and, and along her arms. She was posed in a kneeling position with her head down. Are you asleep? And a hand placed between her legs. Hey. No. And because of the I sexual uh, suggestion of how she was posed, we believe that she had been sexually assaulted. I don't, I don't know if you heard me at all. They canvassed it's not like a whistle. The, the contact of the residents. No. Other than barking dogs around 1 or 2 o'clock in the morning, no one saw anything unusual. There is not much activity. Either pedestrian or vehicle traffic. It, it's a bit frustrating. Apparently the murderer took her there deliberately because he could do whatever he wanted to do without a witness, without being concerned of anyone seeing him. The detectives were looking for a purse or anything else that might be able to identify that person. There was nothing there. You're looking at the crime scene and you guess, you know, what's missing and why is it missing? Interesting. The detectives searching the crime scene they did not find any jewelry on her. They put it toward perhaps a souvenir or perhaps some keepsake of that victim. The clues are limited, and investigators see no clear motive for the brutal murder. Authorities immediately start trying to identify the victim. To the process of the fingerprinting and then running the fingerprints through different databases, they were able to identify the victim as Jill Barton. Jill Barton was a 19-year-old cancer scraper a volunteer for the hospital, and she wanted to pursue uh, a career as being a nurse. Jill decided, with a couple of her friends, let's go to California. Is there, is there a woman? Where is she? <clears throat> you check out? Yeah. She has the room. I need to do a press in the coma. Did you have anything to do? No, no, no. I, I, I wasn't there. I was buying an inhaler. Inhaler? An inhaler. An inhaler. All right. Mrs. Watts has asthma. So, so I went to a pharmacy to get her prescription refilled. God damn, that's terrible, yo. I the didn't know that. money it costs to keep a man in prison more than 35 years. Walter Culbreth is serving a life sentence for murder. I never have a hey. Yes. To go to court. Look at him. The lawyer. What about my, my Hold on. i let my people know I'm going to court. Wow. Oh, my God, what could I do? I ain't got no money. I got to come in and go. He had no lawyer. Cobra Nobody. Look how long he's been there. 60 years at Angola. 60 years. I'm old. 89 years old, though. So. God dang. I don't let nothing worry me. You been jail? I need out. That's all I need. You just out. I don't need nothing else but out. But to be free. Resources stretch to their limits. Many wonder if Walter Culbreth and others like him still belong here. Fifty-one in prison, nine old men are pregnant. What you want to do? And we have just so many beds. I have 5,108 beds, and I'm filling up with a lot of old men who can't commit the crime anymore. And so, really kind of foolish. You ought to have predators in here, but you know I don't make the law. I just carry out the law. <laughs> Even death is no escape. The original prison cemetery called Point Lookout is built to capacity. God dang. Can't no more people get buried here. With no family to clean them, are now buried across.
across the road. And so we send more to the cemetery and then we have to release out the front gate. Mm. To keep the burials dignified, two inmates do what that? working spend their days Not in the coffins and preparing them. They send more to the cemetery than they do out the front gate. Wow. When they My come in, it's on a slave plantation in Louisiana, and it's still the Angolite with prison news and editorials. It's on a slave plantation, and it's still the same thing. The prison's incarceration station broadcasts music and prayers over the 28 square miles of Angola. A 28 square mile prison. Good God Almighty. This vast open landscape has been called a plantation. 28 square miles is, is almost the size of a city. In that time, it has struggled to find a balance between humanity and security. That's why we're here. All this other secondary. Between punishment and reform. And so you have to keep it straight. If you run away, we're going to shoot you. But we don't shoot the warning shots first. So if you run away, we're going to shoot you. And taking it away. Thank you. 